What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline reads, Falana reveals the minister behind Buari's refusal to obey court orders. All right, guys, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button now, and click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. A frontline human rights lawyer, Femi Falana, has tackled the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, for the federal government disregard to court orders and rule of law. The legal luminary pointed out that as a military head of state, Buaru released 13 out of the several persons detained under Decree 2 of 1984 on the basis of court orders. He said Buari could listen to the advice of the then Attorney General of the Federation, the late Chike of Odile San. He will not have disregard, he, he, will, he will not have disagreed with Malami. The human rights lawyer also pointed out that only the president and the state governors have the right of prerogative of mercy, adding that the Attorney General of the Federation had no constitutional right to release any detained person on compassionate grounds. Falana stated this in a statement on Sunday in reaction to the comment made by Malami through his spokesperson Dr. Uma Gwandu on BBC Hausa and the Hausa Service of the Voice of America while explaining why the federal government released Shiwore and Sambo Dazuki from custody. Falana's statement read, as you are no doubt aware, only the president and the state governors are entitled to exercise the prerogative of mercy or release any convicted person on compassionate ground by virtue of Section 175 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999. In Shola v. State, 2004, the Supreme Court held that the person convicted of murder and sentenced to death by high court and whose appeal is pending at an appellate court cannot be pardoned by the head of state or governor of a state pursuant to section 175 and 212 of the 1999 constitution until the appeal have been finally determined it follows to reason that the power or prerogative of mercy cannot be invoked to justify the release of a person standing trial and who has been admitted to bail but detained illegally by the state security service for alleged security reasons. With respect, the federal government has itself to blame for the needless controversy that has trailed the release of the duo. In the case of Shiwore, the state security service refused to comply with the order made by Justice Taiwo for the release on his bail. Even after the order of Justice Ifeoma Ojuku for release of Shiwore and his co-defendant Olawa Lebakere have been reluctantly obeyed, a gang of armed security operatives stormed the court to rearrest the former. In the process, he was brutalized in the courtroom while Justice Ijeoma was forced to rise due to the disruption of the proceedings of her court. The footage of the desecration of the court, which was widely circulated in the social media, exposed the federal government to unprecedented ridicule. Thus, despite the denial of involvement by the SSS in the show of shame, you had to take over the case. However, we were flabbergasted when you turned round to inform us that you had no power to direct the state security service to comply with the order of the Federal High Court for the release of Shiwere from custody. It is also on record that for about four years of detaining Colonel Dazuki, the federal government did not take steps to set aside or vary or stay the execution of the five orders which had granted him bail. As if the contentious act of the SSS was not enough, you repeatedly maintain that the orders 
could not be obeyed on grounds of national security. In confirming your curious position, the presidency said last Friday that the Attorney General of the Federation, who is the Chief Law Officer as far as the government is concerned, has convinced everyone and the government inclusive that there is basis for their continued detention because the individual right must not undermine the collective right. But having belatedly deem it fit to review your position and advise the federal government in line with the tenet of the rule of law, you ought to apologize to both Shewere and Dazuki. That is what I that is what is expected of you in accordance with section 36 C of the 1999 Constitution. It is not an occasion for grandstanding or arrogant display of power. In a recent article entitled How Buhari Military Regime Released Detainee on Court Orders, I did recall that the Buhari Military Junta released 13 out of the several persons detained under Decree No. 2 of 1984 on the basis of court orders and on the advice of the then Attorney General of the Federation, the late Chike Ofo Dile. Wow. All right, guys, this is a Falana, you know, actually um, berating. You guys, he's actually berating the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. You guys, that he, re he actually came up with this, you know, exposition. He reveals that the person behind Buhari's hard stance or breakdown of the rule of law is the Attorney General of the Federation. You understand me? So, Attorney General is the number one. Um, law officer of the country you get so at a point because of the pressure that actually mounted on the case of Shewere, the attorney general of the, of the federation moved the case file to his own office no longer to be handled by the the dss you get because at a point in time there was outcry from both inside the country and outside of the country and this actually brought serious embarrassment to the country Nigeria was ridiculed at the international stage, you get, so that it has to take foreign powers to comply, to force Nigeria, the government of Nigeria to comply with the rule of law. It was such a shameful, you know, thing. So this guy, yeah, uh, Falana is telling the Attorney General of the Federation that you are the best person to advise Buhari to release this person, but because of your hard stance, you know, the man said he cannot. After he has moved the case file to his office, he moved the file, the case totally from the hands of EFCC. He told EFCC to, to hands off the case. You understand? And this happened after after EFCC desecrated the court. You understand me? Justice Geomas court. You get it. So there was a public outcry that if the court, which is a, the last hope of the common man, can be desecrated by the executive. And remember, there's, there are three arms of government. We have the executive, legislature, and the judiciary. These are totally separate arms. No one is to interfere with another. They are totally autonomous and independent. But we saw how the executive, Yonasami, did what desecrated an arm of the executive, which is the DSS, actually desecrated the, the court and that actually sparked an outcry within and outside Nigeria. So Justice Malami had to move the case to his own office. And even while he did that, people called on him. Falana told him, okay, now you move the case file to your office. You move the case file, sorry for that please. You move the case file to your office. There's a pending court order to release this guy. Why not release them? With immediate effect he said that he has no power to release shawari that's what he said you get so this is very serious so if you notice there have been in fact under buari's regime alone there have been breakdown of law and other more than any other other redeem or other regime in nigeria good luck regime was not as this you understand me and and and, and also so a study you understand me was conducted and has shown that the two only democratic president we've had in this country was only good luck jonathan i mean um uh yaradua and good luck jonathan these people were the only people that follow what we call the rule of law 
you get so they brought that that term the rule of law they follow the rule of law so but under buari um, the rule of law have totally been been downtrodden you get so that when the court asks the president you understand me when the dss came they prayed the court to detain this guy for 45 days to which the court actually uh disagreed and only um and only uh, granted the request of the DSS and detained him for only 30 days, not 45 days. You understand me? So the, the, the federal government only obey the court when the court actually gives them a favorable judgment, which is not good at all. So that is it. Do you agree with what Felipe and Falana have said? He said that um, the attorney general of the first region is a person behind Buaris reckless behavior you know Bwari have already said it he said it that was a three was it three months ago that now he can afford to be reckless that's what he said he can afford to be reckless that he's not contesting again and all of that that he can afford to be reckless and that was when he hosted apc you know uh, uh chief things and apc party members so in that address he said now he can afford to be reckless and that is why you see him uh, do a lot of this reckless behavior because he knows he is going. Though we have heard a lot of rumor, Falana have insisted that Buari is coming back for a third term, but it all remains to be seen. Buari have denied it, but we we have seen his campaign posters and all of that, people calling on him to contest and all of that. But we are waiting to see how the outcome of that is going to to be. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that? Femi, I mean, Femi Falana is right. What about the vice president? The vice president is a son and a professor, for that matter. He is a professor of law. You understand me? Why is he not advising the president? You get it. So it appears as if people around Buari don't want to actually advise him. They want to only tell him what is good for his ear. You understand? Know, they don't want to tell him the truth. So could it be that the vice president is also a culprit in this we don't actually know you understand me we don't actually know but let's wait and see how events unveils for me this is a macro tv uh god bless all of you